Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be going over a Thor, the God of Thunder themed build, and you can hit for some pretty wild numbers as well. Don't forget to subscribe for more weekly content. I also have a Discord set up for anyone looking for more people to play with. The link to that and other Elden Ring related videos will be in the description down below. Alright guys, let's dive into the build starting off with Thor's signature weapon, Mjolnir or the closest thing to it in Elden Ring, the Brick Hammer. Sadly, you can't chuck it at people like Thor does in the Avengers, but you can call down a lightning strike for a really powerful attack that doesn't just do a lot of damage, but it also buffs our hammer with lightning. So our basic attacks do even more lightning damage on top of having the lightning affinity placed on it. That Ash of War being Lightning Slash. Honestly, this does do a lot of damage. It looks really cool, and it's nice buffing our weapon for a short duration, but there are some Ashes of War that are more effective to use, like Lion's Claw where you can get all of your damage off in an instance. Even though it does do a bit less damage, its entire animation is much shorter, making it better for dealing with bosses. And if you want to make these special attacks hit much harder, use the Shard of Alexander. It'll increase the damage of all special attacks by an extra 15% which is also going to benefit our other weapon as well. Cause if you didn't know, Thor uses two weapons. So for his other weapon that many of you may know, Stormbreaker, the closest looking thing I could find in the game to this would be the Dragon Halberd. It does a bit less damage than the Brick Hammer, but the special attack on this thing is really cool as well. Your character does a two part spinning attack before slamming the ground where a lightning strike will happen, doing some pretty good damage. And it also places a blue lightning effect on your weapon for extra damage and frost buildup. Just for a short amount of time though. It's pretty similar to the lightning slash ash of war that's on the brick hammer. The freeze effect on this weapon's not bad for using against bosses cause when you freeze a boss or a tough enemy, they take a percent of damage based on their max health. It's kinda similar to the bleed effect but it doesn't do as much damage though. They also take an additional 20% increased damage from all sources. So, this weapon's gonna have its fair use. Now both of these weapons do weigh a decent amount of weight, so having the Great Jar's arsenal equipped is gonna let us save some points in endurance by increasing our max equip load by 19%, just because this build is a little bit tight when it comes to the stats. Next up, we have three lightning spells we can use cause it wouldn't feel like a Thor build if you weren't chucking some lightning bolts here and there. The first spell being Lightning Spear. The damage on it's not bad, usually hitting for close to a thousand damage, and it's got medium range to it. So this is definitely what we're going to be using to chip away at enemies health from a distance. The second spell is more for dealing with larger groups of weaker enemies so you don't get overrun by sheer numbers. That being the Lanseek's Glaive? Again I probably mispronounced that cause I do suck ass at pronouncing things but this spell right over here. Your character slashes the ground with a lightning bolt sending a shockwave that has a really large area of effect. Odds are enemies aren't going to escape this easily. And the last spell being the Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. This one's more of a wild card cause it's either going to do a ton of damage or barely even scratch them. I used it in another lightning build I made before and it has its uses against larger sized bosses because it's much easier to land it on them. Your character can charge the spell up to call down a bunch of lightning strikes. The part where it's flimsy is these lightning strikes are completely random, which is why it's better against larger enemies cause bigger hitbox, bigger chance of landing it. And the best sacred seal to use with these spells is the gravel stone. It'll make all dragon cult incantations, which are the ones we're using, do an extra 15% more damage. It's like a free damage buff that's always applied. Speaking of damage buffs, using Godfrey's icon is also going to help out with our lightning spear and ancient dragon's lightning strike spell. It'll add another 15% more damage to attacks that can be charged up. And these two spells have that feature. And for our last talisman, you'll want to go with the lightning scorpion charm to add an extra 12% damage to all lightning attacks, which is pretty much all of our sources of damage we throw out. Now for the armor that gives us that Thor look. So the closest things I could find is Malena's helmet to match the little wings that Thor has on his helmet, or you can just go without the helm. I'm just not good with character customization, so that's why I'm sticking with it. Then the chest and gauntlets are pieces from the Elden Lord set cause Thor wears some armor, nothing huge and bulky but enough to where it's noticeable. 
And lastly for the boots, I'm just going with the Preceptor's trousers because it seems like Thor doesn't really wear armored leggings, so regular pants match the look much better. And before I mention the stats required, we still have the Flask of Wondrous Physic to further increase our damage. The best two tiers for this are the Lightning Shrouding tier to increase our lightning damage by 20% for 3 minutes. And the second tier is more optional. You can go with the Dexterity Crystal Knot to increase your damage with the Brick Hammer, or the Strength Crystal Knot to increase your damage with the Dragon Halberd. There's no wrong option here, it just depends on what you want to use more of. Now for the minimum stats required. You'll need at least 31 Strength, 10 Dex, and 40 Faith to use all the weapons and spells. Afterwards, I would recommend splitting your points between Faith and Dex, or Strength, depending on which weapon you want to use more, just to increase your damage. I'm also going to put links in the description down below for all the gear I'm using, if you want more information on it and where you can find it all for yourselves. That's everything for today's video. I'd also like to give a big thanks to the members of my channel for supporting me on my videos and the future ones to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.